Welcome to Sona Systems, the premier research management platform used by over 1,000 universities in 25 countries and six continents. This system makes it easy to not only recruit participants for studies, but also manage participant credit status, study results, and account activity. In the following tutorial, we'll show researchers and principal investigators like you how Sona Systems works by highlighting the system's core features. Please note, some features discussed in this tutorial may not be enabled on your site because your administrator has turned them off. When using the system, we recommend one of the many leading web browsers available, including Internet Explorer 9 or above, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Apple Safari. Additionally, for the best experience, we suggest setting your screen resolution to 1024 by 768 or above. To begin, you'll need to locate your university or department site URL, username and password, which should be provided to you in an email sent by your research administrator. Click the URL provided to you in your email or enter it into your browser address bar. You will be directed to your university site and be presented with the option to log into your account. If the colors and logo do not match your university's colors and logo, you may not be at the correct site. If you do not already have an account with the system, you need to contact your administrator and have them create one for you. Their email address can be found at the bottom of your site. If you are having issues logging in because you haven't received an email from your administrator, be sure to check your junk mail folder. You may have to add the system's email address to your list of approved senders. Remember, to protect user privacy, access to your university Sona system site URL requires a verified login. At your site, enter your username and password into the fields provided and select the green button Log In. Before getting to the dashboard, you may be asked to acknowledge the Human Subjects and Privacy Policy. Please read this carefully and agree to the terms by clicking Yes. Otherwise, please select No to be logged out. The system will track your acknowledgement and prompt you again in six months to reconfirm your acknowledgement. After agreeing to the Human Subjects and Privacy Policy, you'll be redirected to the Researcher Dashboard which will give you an overview of your activity in the system, including recent announcements, upcoming appointments, and your studies with recent activity. If this is your first time using the system or you haven't set up any studies, some of these sections may be empty. Your Sona Systems Administrator will create important announcements in the Announcement panel, so look out for changes each time you log into the system. The Upcoming Appointments panel will display upcoming appointments such as the studies you've created. Details are listed beneath the study title and include date, time, and whether it is a lab study or online survey. Studies with recent activity will be displayed below upcoming appointments and give you a short list, sorted by recent to less recent, of your current studies. Now that you've familiarized yourself with the dashboard, it's time to add a study. First, Click the Add New Study link from the menu above. You'll be directed to the first page in a series of pages, where you'll be asked to specify the study type. Typically, a standard study is a lab study, where participants make an appointment at a designated physical location at a specific date and time. Two-part standard studies are like standard studies, except the participant will need to make two appointments when signing up. The second appointment will need to be a certain number of days after the first appointment, which can be specified by entering values into the fields under scheduling range. With online studies, participants aren't required to be at a physical location and will be able to take the study remotely using their computer or mobile device. Online studies can be set up using a single time slot, which serves as the participation deadline and is also the deadline participants need to complete the study by to receive credit. One type of online study is the online survey, which allows both questions and responses to be stored in the system directly. 
Sona System surveys are created using our simple, built-in surveying tool, which is designed to be straightforward and easy to use. For more advanced studying needs, such as conditional branching, matrix question layout, or response timing, we suggest setting up an online external study using a third-party application, such as SurveyMonkey, Qualtrics, Survey Gizmo, Lime Survey, Fluid Surveys, or Inquisit, and linking the external study from our system. This will allow you to track study results using Sona systems. We advise checking with your administrator to see if access to set up surveys using one of these products is available. With online external studies, Sona Systems will ensure only qualified participants are given the link to the survey. Please note that the system does not always know when a participant has completed a study on an external site. However, Sona Systems integrates with many common research products, including the ones previously listed. Often, these products will have options to push a notification to our system, which the system will see and automatically mark the participant as having completed the study. Before proceeding to the next step, you may be required to choose if the study is for credit or payment. Choose your option accordingly, and keep in mind, this selection cannot be reversed later. Select the study type and click Continue. Next, you'll be presented with options to enter key information about the study. This includes, at minimum, entering basic study information. Advanced settings on this page are optional, but may also be useful. Depending on your configuration, some options may not be visible or may be required. Study name is the name for your study and will be what participants see. Brief abstract is a truncated description of the study, whereas detailed description is generally lengthier and not viewable to participants until they reach the study page. Eligibility requirements can be conditions participants need to be aware of to be eligible for the study. This is a text field only. The system doesn't enforce eligibility, but displays the text you enter and makes it visible to participants. Duration is the length of time you expect each study session to take. The system uses this when managing the scheduling of time slots and to let participants know how long the study might take, allowing them to prepare accordingly. Credit value is the amount of value the study is in total. For paid studies, you can indicate compensation amount or any other value. Preparation is where you can remind participants what to bring to a study or how to prepare. Researcher is you by default, and your name will be in the list. You may also be able to add researchers to the study who will have equal control over the study. Likewise, the principal investigator will have full control over the study, but will not receive any of the daily emails related to the study, such as appointment reminders or sign-up notifications. IRB approval codes, also known as ethics approval, refer to your approval to run the study from the IRB. IRB expiration can be set and refers to when the approval expires. In many instances, only the administrator can update the IRB approval information. The system will prevent you from adding any time slots that take place after the expiration date and will also deactivate your study once it has expired. Approved studies are the only ones visible and available to participants. Administrators may sometimes need to approve the study, so you can see an option to request approval after you have added the study. For active study, independent of study approval must be set to yes in order for it to show up on the participant's list of available studies. If the study is approved and participants have signed up, but the study is not active, Participants can still review the study information by visiting their My Schedule Credits page. If a study is not approved, participants will not be able to view the study. For older studies, we advise marking the study as inactive. For new studies, marking the study inactive will keep it in draft status 
until you make it ready for participation. This ensures participants do not sign up for it until it is fully configured. These are the basic study setup settings required before adding time slots and should suffice for most studies. If you are finished, simply click Add Study. Otherwise, continue configuring the study by setting up prerequisites, disqualifiers, or restrictions in the Advanced Settings section below. In Advanced Settings, you will be able to specify prerequisites, disqualifiers, course restrictions, and many other settings for your study. Setting prerequisites for the study will ensure it cannot be signed up for until the participant completes the prerequisite studies. Disqualifiers work by restricting participant eligibility. By noting the studies the participant must not have signed up for prior to their attempt to sign up for yours. When setting up prerequisites and disqualifiers, you will see a list of your own studies by default, but will also have the option to list other researcher studies by selecting All Studies. Course Restrictions allows you to specify whether participants in certain courses may sign up for your study, which is useful for restricting it to naive participants, such as those in introductory level courses. Course restrictions function as a qualifier rather than a disqualifier. If a participant is in a course you specify as eligible, but also in some other course not specified, they will still be eligible for the study. Invitation codes are custom codes you create to further restrict study participation. Only participants with this code will be able to sign up for your study. Please note, this is not the same as the password you use to log into the system, but a unique code created by you to be distributed to specific participants. Study URL is required for online external studies only. Please place the link from your external third-party application, such as a SurveyMonkey or Qualtrics, into the field. If you are setting up a lab study, you may want to consider adding a link to study materials or directions to the lab here. Participant sign-up and cancellation deadlines allow you to set the number of hours prior to a study a participant is eligible to sign up or cancel. For studies requiring extensive planning and preparation, we suggest setting longer deadlines. Please note that if the deadline falls on a weekend, the deadline may be pushed back to the previous Friday. If the participant sign-up and cancellation deadline has passed, manual participant sign-ups and cancellations past the sign-up deadline may be available to you. This will allow you to sign up a participant for your study on their behalf, even if the sign-up deadline has passed. In Sona Systems, you have the option to enable automated emails, which are emails sent to researchers the moment participants sign up or cancel their study appointment. The researchers at time slot level setting only applies if there is more than one researcher for your study. If enabled and when a time slot is added, you'll have the option of assigning a specific researcher from your study to that time slot. The assigned researcher will be the only person to receive notifications and reminders about sign-up activity relating to that time slot. Automatic credit granting. We'll look at time slots once per day to determine how much time has passed, where no action was taken by the researcher, and grants credit to those who have participated in the study. Keep in mind, you can change the status manually later if you choose to give or revoke credit to a specific participant. When asked if can a participant sign up for this study more than once, selecting yes will allow participants to sign up for a study more than once, even if they have already participated. No-shows are not considered participation, so participants are able to sign up again after a no-show in all cases. Shared comments and private comments are two sections for adding notes or essential details about the study without them being shared with participants. 
Shared comments are visible to other researchers in the system who are not researchers on your study. Shared comments are great for sharing concepts being researched in your study with other researchers who, when using the system, may want to create disqualifiers. Private comments, on the other hand, are only visible to researchers assigned to this study. Research alternative, set by the administrator, is used to let participants know if the study is considered a research alternative. Please select Add this study to save your selections and proceed to configuring the rest of your study. Once you have added your study, you will be directed to the study information page, which will give you a detailed overview of the study you've just created, along with the option to set further pre-screen restrictions. An optional setting to consider when configuring your study is pre-screen restrictions. Pre-screen restrictions limit study participation eligibility to participants who have provided certain responses on the system-wide pre-screen set up by the administrator. For example, if the pre-screen is questions about gender and native language, you could limit your study to only males whose native language is English. Participants who do not qualify will not see the study nor be able to sign up, while those who do qualify will see the study and can sign up for it. Additionally, qualifying participants will not be able to view the pre-screen restrictions that you've set, so they will not be aware why they are qualifying for the study. To set pre-screen restrictions, choose View, Modify Restrictions on the Study Information page. You'll be directed to the pre-screen restrictions page and be presented with a list of questions along with the number of participants in the system who qualify based on current restrictions. You'll see a list of all questions that are eligible to be used as pre-screen restrictions. Not all questions on the pre-screen appear here. If a question is set up to allow for a user-defined text response or a multiple choice question where more than one choice may be chosen, then it is not eligible for use in pre-screen restrictions. Proceed by selecting all of the questions you'd like to use as pre-screen restrictions. Choose Set Restrictions to continue to the next screen. You will then be presented with the questions you've selected, along with the possible responses for each of the questions. Choose the responses for each question appropriately, keeping in mind that each response will make a participant eligible for a study. The system will enforce eligibility and ensure participants have chosen one of the selected choices for each question to be eligible for your study. After you have set pre-screen restrictions, you may have the option to contact qualified participants anonymously via email, inviting them to participate in the study. You can find this option by going to View Modify Restrictions, then selecting Invite Qualified Participants on the following screen you will see the total number of qualified participants to be contacted and be provided with an option to email a specific percentage or subset of the qualified participants. This is especially useful when you want to avoid emailing a large volume of participants when you have just a few time slots available. Therefore, we suggest first sending participation requests to a subset of qualified participants to evaluate initial interest. You may also choose to automatically disqualify participants from receiving an invitation by choosing Study Exclusions. Edit the basic study information available to compose your message or compose your own using the editor. Schedule a future time to send this message or simply press Send Message to have the message sent immediately. Once the email has been scheduled, it cannot be withdrawn so pick a time you believe will generate the best response. Now that you've set pre-screen restrictions and invited qualified participants to participate in your study via email, you can review your study information and begin adding time slots. This can be done using the study menu located in the top left corner on each of the study review pages. The study menu on the study information page is designed to give you full control of your study, providing you with options to view and administer time slots 
and view the study's time slot usage summary. The study menu also allows you to contact participants, view bulk email summary, download pre-screen responses, change study information, or view the study in participant study view. View Administer Time Slots will allow you to set up time slots and see who has signed up. Select this from the menu to be directed to the View Administer Time Slot screen. Here, you will see a list of time slots for the past few days, along with upcoming time slots. You can also view all time slots, upcoming time slots, or past time slots. If you'd like to select time slots on a certain day only, you can do so by using the Calendar Select function in the top right of the panel. For each time slot, you'll see who is signed up and their participation status. You can go into any time slot to modify the details or mark participation by selecting the Modify button. All studies require available time slots for participants to sign up. If this is a new study and you'd like to add time slots for the study, select Add Time Slot. If the study is an online study, the time slot will function as the participation deadline. Online studies must have a time slot in order for participants to be able to sign up, gain access, and participate. Therefore, create just one time slot and indicate how many participants can participate. For the date, choose the last date that participants are eligible for participation, such as the last day of the semester. As you will see on the Add Time Slot screen, a time slot is comprised of a date, time, and location where you plan to run your study. Specify the date, time, and choose or enter location of your study. Along with the number of participants you'd like to allow to sign up for the time slot, the end time is automatically set based on the study duration you specified when setting up the study. If you would like more than one participant to come to the same session, do not create multiple time slots at the same time. Instead, create a single time slot and note how many participants may sign up for it. If the study is more than one researcher listed and you have configured the study so that researchers may be listed at time slot level, you can also specify a particular researcher for this time slot. This researcher will receive email notifications specific to the time slot. Remember, all researchers for the study will have access to the time slot. Once you are finished configuring this time slot, select Add this time slot. It will be available to participants immediately. Add multiple time slots by first going to View Administer Time Slots in the Study menu. Then, select Add Multiple Time Slots from the Study menu above. Here, you can either create a group of time slots based on the date you specify, or copy time slots from a specific week, which is useful if you run the same times every week. Make your selection and hit Add to proceed to adding multiple time slots or copying weeks. You'll see a list of time slots you can add and be able to make necessary adjustments to individual time slots. To view the participants who have signed up for the time slots you have created, visit View Administer Time Slots from the study menu above. You will see basic information about the time slot, such as date, time, and location, which can all be modified by selecting Modify. If you choose to modify a time slot's date or time, we suggest notifying participants using the Contact All Participants option located in the Study menu. The Time Slot Modification log will show any changes made to the time slot information. If a study has participants signed up, you will see those participants listed. You can choose to view the uncredited signups by clicking Uncredited Signups. If a participant has participated in the study, you can mark their participation accordingly. If they didn't show up, you can mark them as a no-show and as either excused or unexcused. We suggest asking your administrator for exact policies on how to mark participants 
who do not show up for a study. You are free to add comments for the sign-up and note that participants will be able to see those comments. Once you have marked all the participation statuses for each participant as necessary, be sure to click Update Signups to save your changes. In most cases, participants will be notified with the update immediately via email. If you need to contact participants for this time slot, you can use the Contact All Participants option to send them an email through the system. If you have unexpected walk-ins or a participant cannot sign up for a time slot because a sign-up deadline is passed, you do have the option to sign up participants for this time slot manually, one at a time, although credit will not be given automatically. If you decide to sign a list of participants up, rather than just a single person, and at the same time, grant them credit, you have the option to do so using Batch Credit Grant. To cancel a participant sign-up, select the Cancel option next to their sign-up. They will receive an email confirmation shortly after cancellation. Please note, the sign-up needs to be in No Action Taken status for the Cancel option to be visible. To grant credit across several studies and time slots at once, visit your home dashboard and select View Uncredited Time Slots. On the following screen, you will see all pending signups and be able to grant credit or mark no show on multiple signups at once across all your time slots and studies. To help you manage your studies effectively, we've added study options to your study menu. To get an overview of time slot usage, such as the percentage of time slots filled and credits granted, select Time Slot Usage Summary from the study menu at the top of the page. You can also view bulk mail summary to track emails you've sent to participants. Download pre-screen responses or change study information. Additionally, if you'd like to see how the study information looks to participants, you can choose Participant Study View from the study menu at the top of the page. If at any time you'd like to change your password, contact information, simply visit the My Profile link located on the menu bar. We strongly recommend keeping an accurate telephone number and office location so participants can contact you. For security reasons, we ask that when you are finished with your session, that you please log out. We trust your experience using Sona Systems will be seamless. If you have any questions about a study, please contact the administrator responsible for managing your SONA system site. Otherwise, for all other questions or support inquiries, send email requests to the address located at the bottom of your site.